In the last 12 months, there has been a boom in AI video editing tools that have started to give CapCut a run for their money. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk through five of my favorite tools that are gonna help you in different stages of the editing workflow that are gonna make you more efficient and hopefully make your videos better. And so first up is Veed, and as you can see, they've got a whole host of different tools that are going to help you with your video editing. They're kind of similar to CapCut in that you can access the editor on a browser, and you've got a lot of settings down the left-hand side here that are going to help you with making your video better. Um, and then it also comes with a few different types of AI tools. They've got something called Text to Video, which is essentially going to create a whole video for you like this with different B roll and captions. This is great if you just wanna make really low effort content, to be honest. You can then also create your own avatars, which is where you just type in a prompt of what you want the avatar to say. You select which one you want and it will then produce something like this. This is a test. This is great if you want to start a faceless channel and you want to use an avatar like to represent yourself. They've also got AI eye tracking software, which essentially is if you're trying to read a script like just to the left of your camera, it will basically make your eyes look like they're looking directly at the camera, which I know is going to be very useful for a lot of people. Next up is Runway ML. These guys have been around for a while and they've got some really high quality AI tools, which also include text to video. But this is slightly different than Veed and is just generating a shorter clip and they have just promoed their Gen 3 version which looks incredible so take a look at this. So these have all been generated with just a single prompt and are supposed to look realistic and I think they look quite good. There's a lot of similar tools like this that are coming a long way to generating hyper realistic videos just from a simple text prompt which I think are going to be really useful for b-roll in the future. They've also got a whole host of other tools for video, images and audio, including the ability to change a video into multiple different styles. You can easily remove unwanted objects from videos like in this demo here. You've got frame interpolation, which will take a still image and basically add movement to it or animate it. And then finally, they've got a really high quality background remover, which is one of the best I've ever used. Next up is Opus Clip. This is going to allow you to take a long form video and clip it up into multiple shorts. All you do is upload your video, say from YouTube, then select kind of the caption preset that you want and a number of different settings, click generate. And what this will do is generate you a number of different short clips that have been taken from the long form video with the aim of it to produce the most highest quality and kind of viral potential clips on the short form platforms. If you wanna make further adjustments to the clip, then you can do so by just clicking the pencil icon here. We're able to then alter the script or remove anything that we don't want. We can customize the captions on the right hand side here and make further adjustments there, highlight any keywords, add any of our logos or emojis. And then we can also auto generate stock or AI B-roll by just clicking down here. And what this will do is just select appropriate moments in the clip to add some B-roll. Once we're happy, we just click save changes. We'll be taken back to the menu and we can essentially just rinse and repeat this process over and over again until we're happy with our clips. We're then able to just easily download the MP4. We can export it as an XML file so we can take it into our editing program of choice and make further changes. Or we're now able to schedule this post across all of our social media platforms by just connecting to Opus, select the days that you want it to go out and it's done. And before we move on, I want you to let me know in the comments what you think is the most underrated feature that Opus has to offer. And if you do so, you'll be in with a chance of winning some free Opus credits. And so next up is NVIDIA AI. These guys also have a number of AI tools, but I'm gonna highlight their AI faceless video generator. This is similar to the one that I showed you for Veed. Essentially, you go in, you type in a short or quite a long prompt and what this is going to do is then generate a short form video or a vertical video with lots of b-roll in that you can then further customize and what i like about this one specifically is you can then essentially just type in prompts to change the video so if i want to move the captions into the middle i can do so by typing it in here if i want to change one of the clips to you know, something different, then I can do so as well. Or they also have the ability to generate your own voiceover using your voice, which I can then switch to. Or if I wanna to switch to like another voice, I can do so as well. 
And then last on the list is Gling. This is like a really well optimized tool for cutting out not just the silences, but all of the bad takes from your videos, which is what I really like. So all you do is just upload your video here, or you can just use this example project to see. And as you can see on the left here, um, essentially it's just cut out all of the bad takes. So it will recognize where you essentially keep messing up and it will just pick the one where it isn't. So usually it will probably be like most of us, it will usually be the last version that we do and then we move forward. So once you've kind of done your 10 minute long recording that's supposed to be like two minutes, you just drop it into here and it will just get rid of all of the you know, times that you mess up and generate something really kind of clean and smooth. They've also then got a few other tools as well where you can enhance the video by adding smart captions, you can add zooms, you can remove the noise from background audio. They've also got an AI assistant for title generator and chapter generators. Once you're happy, you can then just export this. And again, similar to Opus, you can export the XML files so you can just take it into your editing program of choice and make further changes if you want. And if you want to watch a full tutorial on how to get the best out of Opus, then you should click this video here.